Hey guys, this is Samad here from DIY King. Well, in today's project video, we are going to build ourselves a regulated output power supply that converts the 220 volt AC into uh, some of the most usable DC voltages such as 5 volt, 9 volt and 12 volt DC. So have a look at how useful this power supply is. This power supply is equipped with three different voltage regulators. The first one is LM7805 producing an output of nearly 5 volt. The second one is LM7809 producing an output of nearly 9 volt DC. While the third and the last one is LM7812 producing an output of nearly 12 volt DC. I have connected a powerful LED light at the output that can draw up to 2 amps of current at 12 volt. Well, there is no visible voltage drop for 5 and 9 volt outputs, but due to the high current drain at 12 volt, the voltage is dropped down to 10 volts, which is due to the limited power output of our transformer. To start with, I've designed the schematic for this power supply, which consists of a full wave bridge rectifier, a capacitor filter, that is followed by three different voltage regulators and a bunch of complementary components. Well, I'll define the working of each of these components later in this video. So, I've designed the printed circuit boards by using this schematic and to order the PCBs, I've visited jlcpcb.com. Well, they are the largest PCB manufacturers in China. So, all I had to do is to upload the Gerber files for my PCB and check out the options that are given below such as PCB thickness, the quantity of the PCB and the stuff like that. And once I'm done with that, I can check out. Well, they are offering some great quality PCBs for pretty cheap prices and for the first order, you can get as low as $2 for 10 PCBs and that includes the shipment cost right at your doorstep. So I've received the PCBs for this power supply within just a week and the quality seems to be really outstanding for the prices they are offering. So don't forget to check out their website that is jlcpcb.com. Now first of all, I've got a step down transformer that has a step down ratio of nearly 18 is to 1. What it basically means is that it steps down the 220 volt AC down to nearly 12 volt AC. To identify the primary and secondary coils, I've measured the resistance of both coils. Since the secondary coil have a lesser number of turns of thicker wire, thus it offers a lower resistance as compared to the primary coil which has more number of turns of thinner wire. So we can easily identify between each of these coils by using a multimeter. The step down 12 volt AC is then converted into direct current by using 4 1 and 4 007 diodes configured as a full wave bridge rectifier. Always make sure that you place these diodes in proper position. In order to smooth out the rectified DC voltage, I'm going to use electrolytic capacitors that are rated at 1000 microfarad and 25 volt. So here we have used two of them connected in parallel. The dotted line represents the negative lag so make sure you place them correctly onto the PCB. To regulate the output voltage, we are going to use linear voltage regulators. We are going to use LM7805, 09 and 12. The last two digit represents the output voltage. Since the excess energy is converted into heat energy, so we are going to put aluminium heat sinks along with each regulator. While placing these regulators onto the PCB, Make sure that they are not in physical contact with one another, otherwise you will end up shorting the two outputs together. Now to indicate the output status, we are going to use an LED along with a 370 ohm resistor. The longer leg of the LED represents the positive side while the other one is negative. 
so make sure you place it correctly onto the PCB. All three regulated output goes to a selector switch through which we can select a particular output. I have also added a DC voltmeter to the output so that we can monitor the output voltage as well. Well there are three wires on this voltmeter, the red one is VCC, the black is ground while the yellow wire is the signal one which goes along with the red wire. For the output of this power supply, I have used a PCB terminal block. This allows me to connect anything to the output without any hassle. As we are done with the circuit, so I have connected the secondary coil of the transformer to the input side. Whereas the primary coil is connected to a 2 pin plug so that we can connect it to any wall outlet. Since we have the option to select any of the three output voltages, so I've used a four-way socket. The three pins of the socket are connected to the voltage regulator outputs, while the fourth one serves as the holder for the output wire when there is no output needed. Now to mount everything together, I've used a 3mm thick plexiglass sheet, measuring 4 inch wide and 6 inch long. I've drilled some holes for screws to mount everything in place. Later, I removed the protective layer from the plexiglass sheet. Moreover, I've added some rubber o-rings at each corner of the base which helps the base to sit properly on anything. Later, I've mounted everything on the plexiglass sheet by using some cut screws. Well, with that being done, what we have here is a DIY regulated output power supply and this looks so awesome. To test this power supply, I've used a powerful LED light that can draw up to 2 amps of current at 12 volt. The output voltage seems to be pretty consistent except of the 12 volt output that dropped down to 10 volts which is due to the limitations of the power that is being delivered by our transformer. Well, this can easily be resolved by using a more powerful transformer and this thing can serve as a basic lab bench power supply. So guys, I hope you like this video and you have understood what are the basic principles behind uh, the conversion of AC into DC voltages. And uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of my other project videos as well. And uh, for more upcoming projects, do subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you soon in the next one.